Are you girls excited? No. You are. How about you, Tinkerbell? You're excited and you're excited. So fun. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. If you haven't been here before, I have a couple of fluffs to introduce you to. Come here, team. Well, I guess this is Miko. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, are you so excited about this already? Yeah, come here, team. Can you come say hello? Miki, <laughs> leave room for Tinkerbell. Come here. Here, team. Come say hi. And this is Tinkerbell. You girls are very excited because I'm pretty sure they know that we are making them dog treats today. Are you girls excited? But yes, we are gonna be making a super, super simple dog treat. Um, good for them, great for hot weather, and it's literally three ingredients, which is amazing. And yeah, we're gonna freeze some watermelon yogurt and mint today. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, you might not have seen that recently, Miko had a really, really, really bad gastrointestinal virus. Um, we almost lost her, which was not good. I would have, I don't know what I would have done. It would have been so bad. But yes, so her gut biome has been a little bit out of sorts, which is why we are working with the probiotics and yogurt today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So there's not a specific recipe for this guy. Um, essentially, for every two cups of whole fruit you use, you're gonna use a quarter cup of yogurt. The yogurt I'm using is um, probiotic rich, and it is whole milk, plain yogurt, don't use any added sugar. Um, but yes, so we're doing that, and then we just grabbed a little bit of mint from my garden outside. Okay, your, your face that close is not helpful. What are you doing? Huh? We just need a little bit. You want some? And the yummy. <laughs> so a few other items you'll need. Um, I'm using these little silicone molds. These guys are off of Amazon. I'll pop their links down below. But these are nice and big. But if you're looking for smaller treats, these are, I think, a dollar or two dollars from Ikea. And they're just little pop out molds. But if you're looking for molds, just make sure that you get ones that will easily pop out because sometimes these frozen guys like to stick and we're not using any cooking spray or anything like that. So you're going to need molds and you're gonna need a blender. If you'd like to, you can also use something like a popsicle stick, um, as long as your dog won't eat it, that you can like stick into the top of these if you want it to look like a lollipop, but for me, I'm just gonna give them to them whole. So all we're gonna do is chop up some watermelon. I'm gonna start out with four cups today, and we're gonna go ahead and time lapse this because you don't need to watch me cut this much watermelon. <laughs> So I did decide to go with eight cups. Oops, I missed a seed here. Um, I don't worry about the white seeds, uh, but the black seeds I do go ahead and pull out just because they're gonna make it a little weirdly crunchy. Um, if you want to use a seedless watermelon, you can. However, for me, I don't like the idea of seedless anything because, yeah, not the best for the environment. We'll go into that later. But I'm just gonna pour all of this watermelon into the blender and blend it up. I'm actually gonna do this first because watermelon breaks down so quickly that it'll make a lot of extra room and then I'll put some yogurt and some mint in. Not gonna lie, I know this is gonna taste good both for me and the dogs, but a uh, yogurt dropping into any liquid looks real gross. All right, so we've got our yogurt in and then we're just gonna take our mint leaves. I'm gonna take the stems off because they are a little hard but other than that, I'm just gonna pop the whole leaves in and then everything will get a really good blend. All right, so we've got our liquid and I'm just gonna carefully pour these into the molds. And this is still getting all over the place because I'm incapable of pouring and I should have poured it into a smaller thing first. 
But I'm just gonna pour these into the molds and I'm gonna pop them in the freezer until they are completely frozen through. And I'm gonna do a little click here. Not that I can actually do a transition because the Lord knows I am incapable of that. But the next time you'll see me, they will be finished and frozen and it'll be very exciting. Did you want this? See, yummy. You want some tea? Okay, so we are back. It is hours later. I look a little different because when 100% took a nap and then woke up from a nap nightmare, which is just super not cool. But these guys are all frozen through. You'll notice that one is missing here because I didn't realize that there was like a giant hole in the bottom and I picked it up and I literally had to mop my floor. There was just juice everywhere. Such a pain. But I'll show you how easy these guys are to pop out. Ta-da! Do those look yummy? What do you think? Here you go. Think do you want a big heart one? You, I can't hold it for you. Here, you can have a little one. Go take that. Go. <laughs> yummy. Ki. Yummy. Hi, Kiba. Kiba, do you want one? No, you guys have to bite them. I'm not holding it. So I am just going to finish this video out here because the fluffs are getting so excited <laughs> to eat these. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want the actual written out recipe, it will be on my blog. That will be the first link in the description down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you again soon. All right, girls, you want some more? You, you do want some more. Yeah. <laughs> You're dinky. Oh, you're just gonna eat it off the table? Cool. <laughs>